using GoTrack remote control system with Kubota HST tractors or similar. To start to use a remote control system, first of all you must turn on tractor's ignition, then turn on the system on the smart panel using the green button, pressing once. Now you could you could can see that the braking pedals uh, are pressed. It means the system is in ready for operation. Another thing uh, in this tractor, uh, gear lever position must be in medium or low position. It cannot be in high position. A high position is blocked and it is not possible to drive this tractor when the gear level uh, selector is uh, is located in high position, only medium and low. So when everything is done, everything is ready, we can start to use the system. First turn on the remote controller. You can see that the LED is flashing and now it's solid state. It means that uh, there is a connection between the remote controller and MCU located in the tractor. When the distance is too far, uh, too large, the, this LED will start to blink and when tractor is running uh, MCU located in the tractor will automatically switch off the engine and stop the tractor. It is from safety reasons of course. So uh, system is preventing to use remote controller when the operator cannot see the tractor. Normally the distance is approximately uh, 10 to 20 meters maximum. So now the remote controller is connected with MCU, tractor is ready for operation, we can start uh, the engine by pressing and holding the start button until the engine is started. The engine is running and what we can do next is we can regulate uh, RPM level, so here Pressing plus and minus button, we can regulate RPM engine. This is manual regulation. There is also automatic regulation here, but I will come back to this point a little bit further. So when the engine is running, we can start to drive. We can see that the green LED is on the drive position, D position. If it is in red position, it, it is reverse. So first to drive, we will try with forward, driving forward. And now move joystick up, it will start the tractor. When we want to stop the tractor, move joystick down, stop position. How to change the speed for driving forward? First we have to start to drive and now press and hold this button and move joystick up to speed up, move joystick down to slow down. Okay, stop. System will memorize the last speed which was set when pressing this button. Driving backwards, press and press once this button. You can see the red LED is, uh, is on. So it means the tractor is ready for driving backward. Move joystick up, the tractor will start to drive. Move joystick down, the tractor will stop again. Move joystick up, the tractor will start to drive. And now we can change the speed if we want to slow down. Press and hold this button and move joystick down to slow down. Stop. System is memorizing speeds separately for driving forward and backwards. Now uh, I, can sh I can show you time driving. Time driving is the time uh, after tractor will stop automatically from the start uh, point. So, 
if the time driving is on, this yellow LED is solid state, it means that the time driving is active. But first we have to teach the tractor, teach the system how long we want to drive. So to do that, when this, when this feature is off, press and hold until the LEDs will start to flash. Now the system is ready to memorize time driving and from this moment, from the start point, from this moment, system is memorizing the time how long the tractor was driving until this moment. You can see that LED is solid state, it means that system automatically go went from the learning mode to, to uh, active mode and now next driving with this LED on will stop automatically the tractor updated time. and the tractor stopped automatically. Also, the system is equipped in line assist sensor, which is located in front of the tractor, and uh, this sensor allows to steer automatically the tractor between the roads. Here in this orchard, we have perfect conditions for driving with line assist, so when we press this button on, can see that it's flashing it means the system is uh, ready for operation when start tractor will start to drive so moving joystick forward up will start to drive and system is automatically turning on this line assist mode and as you can see the steering wheel is controlling automatically according to the sensor readings system will try to keep the tractor in the center of the road Also, you can hear different type, type of the beep when starting. It means it, it helps to recognize that the uh, system is working with line assist. <coughs> there is also automatic RPM feature in the, in the system. Uh, to activate automatic RPM control, just press this button, it is flashing, LED is flashing, and now when you start to drive, system automatically will increase RPM level of the engine, and when you push joystick down, and you stop the, the, the tractor, RPM level will go down automatically. To change the RPM level, you have to drive and when this is this this feature is on now you can change the rpm level and this level will be memorized so next time when i start to drive automatically system will increase rpm level to the last used uh, rpm when this is off you can always regulate RPM manually but these RPMs will be kept all the time doesn't matter if the tractor is standstill or driving on the remote controller you can find also the emergency button this button is responsible for stopping and switching off the engine in uh, dangerous uh, cases like uh, there is some obstacle or, or uh, something wrong is going with the implement connected to the tractor so always when you press this button it will stop the engine and, uh, and the tractor this noise, this per moment beep means that the emergency button is pressed it can be pressed on the remote controller or it can be pressed on the on the tractor there are usually there are four sa uh, safety buttons on the tractor and one safety button on the remote controller now we can start the engine again and you can start to drive system when line assist on system will stop automatically when obstacle is detected 
you can change you can change the uh, safety zones uh, using go truck configuration app so to do that you have to you have to download uh, go truck configuration app and then uh, tune safety zones also when using line assist you can make a correction of driving so in this case for for example tractor is driving automatically but always when you want to make some correction you can use joystick and you have now you are controlling the system automatic uh, manually by using joystick and when i leave the joystick uh, for a while, the system will come back to the automatic line assist mode. When this LED is blinking, battery LED, it means that the uh, batteries need to be charged. In some tractors, these buttons are used, for example, for PTO control, a hitch control or a hydraulic output control but it depends on the on the system which is installed on the tractor